Hello, this is Marissa Lachine, Clinical Exercise Physiologist with Ohio Health. Today we will be discussing energy conservation. Energy conservation is important because it helps us use less energy with daily tasks and can allow us to do more activity throughout the day. Benefits include minimizing fatigue and shortness of breath. It is important to perform your activities according to your level of energy and take breaks when needed. To help with energy conservation, it's important to remember the four P's. Prioritize, plan ahead, pace yourself, and positioning. Prioritize your day. What do you really need to accomplish today? Is there something you love that you haven't had the energy to do yet? Try to eliminate any activities that aren't necessary to save energy for those that are important to you and need done today. Remember, it's okay to not complete something and say no. Ask yourself, do I really need to do this today? The next P is plan ahead. Keep your daily plans realistic. Figure out when you have the most energy and schedule high energy activities for those times. This would include shopping, cleaning, and appointments. It's also important to pace yourself. Respect your limits. Everybody has them. Take breaks as you need them. It's important to slow down, especially when you're using more energy. Alternate heavy and light tasks throughout the day to keep your energy levels high. Positioning is also very important. You should avoid carrying heavy objects and instead slide them because this uses less energy. It's important to be aware of what movements cause more shortness of breath and try to avoid those. Try to organize your surroundings and homes to reduce these movements. One movement that causes a lot of shortness of breath is bending, same with reaching. If you have stuff in high cabinets, move them down to a lower cabinet so you don't have to reach as far. It's also important to use work surfaces that are comfortable and allow you to have good posture and elbows and forearms supported. All in all, moving smarter allows us to eliminate wasted effort and energy throughout the day. It's important to learn how to correctly perform various activities, including stairs and picking up objects. This can help reduce breathlessness. It's important to not rush when climbing stairs. Doing so can increase breathlessness. Use the hand railings provided on the side. Inhale before you take your first step, and then exhale as you climb the next two to three steps. Inhale again before taking your next step. When it comes to moving objects, move your whole body along with the object. Consider sliding versus carrying. Use the entire body when pushing an item. Pulling is often easier than pushing, so try pulling items instead. One example of this is your oxygen tank. When it comes to lifting and carrying, as a rule of thumb, when the activity becomes harder, this is when you'll exhale. And when the activity becomes easier, this is when you'll inhale. Bend from the knees and hips and inhale as you get a good grip on the object. Exhale as you lift it. As a reminder, keep the object close to your body as you carry it, or you can increase your chance of back pain. When it comes to sitting and standing, be sure the backs of your legs are touching the chair. Inhale before you start to move. Use your leg muscles to help guide your body to the chair. Exhale as you do so. When standing up, use your arms and hands to help push yourself up. When it comes to getting in and out of bed, don't twist. Instead, use your entire body to get out of bed or change positions. Exhale as you exert yourself. This would be when you are lowering yourself into bed or standing up out of bed. Hold on to something that won't move if you need to steady yourself. An example of this would be a bed rail. As far as showering goes, try sitting on a shower chair or stool while you bathe to help conserve energy. Hot water increases humidity and can make it more difficult to breathe. 
consider using warm water. Conserve energy by sitting while doing your hair, applying makeup or shaving. Wear tops or sweaters that have zippers or buttons so you don't have to pull them over your head. This can oftentimes increase shortness of breath and decrease our energy levels. It's important to think about which activities cause you to feel the most fatigued and short of breath. Are there any techniques or strategies that you can use to conserve some energy?